so just seeing that was definitely a jump scare and a very bad flashback. That one's crappy. I don't know. It's gonna take it's gonna take some serious luck for us to do well. I'm not gonna even try. Yeah. Hi, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have my two friends here. We are doing a practice MCAT. No, a real MCAT. A practice MCAT. Like an MCAT. A full seven hour MCAT. Um, and we are all entering into our first year of medical school in Canada. We're all going to different schools. And we thought it'd be kind of cute to do an MCAT, um, coming in completely underprepared. Um, so the last time I wrote my MCAT was in 2020. I don't feel prepared for this because there's so much content to remember for the bio section. And I think my strongest section was probably the biology section. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name's Jing. Um, I took that MCAT in 2018 and my strongest section was bio as well. I don't really feel prepared, but I did just finish four years of pharmacy school, so I'm hoping that helps me. My name is Tommy. I last wrote it this last year in 2022, and my strongest section was not ours because um, I did about equal on all my other sections. Um, so I wrote it recently, but I've been out of school, so I don't really know how I'm going to do. So we'll see. We scored between a 515 to a 520. That, yes. was, our, that was our test range. So <laughs> that's the baseline, and we'll just see where we are. Yeah, compared to that. But I also want to preface we're not sharing the screen. Now. We're just going to be recording our reaction and our thoughts. And for the record, we're doing the AMC MCAT official prep free practice exam. <laughs> exactly. No, exactly one. which one that is, but it, you, you can find it on one. the AMC. We are timing this to finish each section in 45 minutes instead of the full one hour and a half that they give you because we are on a time crunch and yeah, we just can't put outside eight hours to do an exam today. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yay, let's get started. This is my idea by the way. It's the idea of doing like a confessional after each section and letting us know how we how we thought of it. So uh, the rest of them are just upstairs right now. Um, I think it's fine. I would have preferred having the full time but we finished everything that we should have finished and I am all right with my performance. We will see how things go. I think it was just like a lot of formulas sometimes and I think like formulas isn't really something that you can like do without going through it and reviewing it beforehand. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm um, sorry you can't see my face. My face is up here and the camera angles are just not working. Alright, so I think that something I learned about myself while doing this section was that I like to take my time when I'm reading passages and reading questions and I think that having the time constraint of 45 minutes definitely made that a lot more tough for me. As well, I realized that I 
was way smarter when I wrote it back in 2020 because there was so much that I read today and I had no idea what it meant um, because I was trying to recall equations and I had no idea what those equations were. And it gave me a lot of appreciation for my previous self um, who studied really hard. I, I oftentimes forget the amount of effort and work I had to put in to get so far. Also, it's been really fun um, doing those sessions with my friends. Uh, honestly, Chemphys was harder and easier than I remembered. Like, I definitely don't know any of the chemistry anymore and such is life. But the physics, I feel like it was almost easier because I knew that like you could just use like math tricks. So as long as I knew like the ratios and stuff, I was able to do it super fast. We were able to kind of answer the questions, but yeah, definitely Tommy hard carried because I don't remember any of the equations. But yeah, I think depending on the person that you are, some people like to read the passage and then do the question. And then I personally like to read the question and then do the passage. But I think it's useful to try out both styles and then see how you feel. Even if it's a question within a passage, it doesn't actually always require you to know what the passage is talking about. <laughs> oh dear, so cars time. <laughs> my time and make sure mm -hmm. that I'm on track otherwise everything just falls apart um, and it fell apart so I gave up that one's crappy but that's okay because it's okay <laughs> okay bye hello everyone that was the cars passage clearly you can you have seen that we kind of gave up and just started randomly guessing and Sometimes that's just how, how cars go. I will say the passages today were really hard. Like they're harder than what I remembered cars being. Cause in my memory, cars was just like reading comprehension and I was able to just do it like really quickly. I don't really have any tips for cars cause I'm not that good at it, but yeah, I'm just glad we're halfway through the exam. We're almost there. Yay. Hello. Okay, so do not recommend doing cars at half the time. Personally for me, I definitely struggled the most with cars and it was my lowest score. Yeah, so just seeing that was definitely a jump scare and a very bad flashback. Yeah, so overall I think we did not do so well because I think we guessed a crap ton of them. But um, also to be fair, Jing did speed run through it, which was great because we wouldn't have finished in time. After finishing cars, I don't feel so bad about how we did on physics and chem, but we will see.
I think it was, I think it's harder because I'm hungry. You know, usually I think having an hour long break is really important for me to reset. I'm able to have food, but there was none of that. I was just hungry and tired and I wanted to move on. But I know that I can do better. I believe in myself. We'll see how we did. Hi. So that was our third section and I think we made a critical mistake in not taking our lunch break. So we were not very focused or wanted to do it very much. But we also knew that this is our section, at least I knew that this is the section that we had the best chance of getting good score in. So we took a little bit longer, but I think, I don't know, it's gonna take, it's gonna take some serious luck for us to do well. I think that personally overall, we did really well on that section compared to all the other sections. Um, I think we definitely took more time because we were very perfectionist in our approach. Um, I think a big part of it is that because we all did bio-related backgrounds, we wanted to really do well in this section, but you can definitely see us falling apart as the section went on. Yeah, so I'm excited to see how we do in the last section, but first we're gonna go grab some food. Okay, we're back from lunch. Psychos and biological foundations of behavior. Right, yes, that's it. Also known as too Done, guys. <laughs> Four more questions. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. Honestly, this is very realistic to what happens on during the reel, and the MCAT because I remember getting to sex, so I was like, just feeling like, oh my god. Aww. Aww. Shut up. Not the time for some Oh, damn, this is tough. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so close! Oh my god, we're so fast! How much time do we have left? <laughs> Go! <laughs> 14 questions and 2 minutes. Go ahead, never mind. Psychosis one, I think will be fine. We don't know anything, but like all the answers had like a vibe to them, I think. And I think we got the vibes correct. And that is all you really need in life is vibes. So here's hoping for the best. I would like to counter with what Tommy just said about vibes. I don't think vibes will get you far. <laughs> private confession from my experience on that psych social section i think that when you're doing it I, the answer seems pretty obvious um we'll see how we did um there's a lot of terms that i didn't know but also the terms kind of speak for itself if that makes any sense and we went, felt very confident going through it but we will see how it actually went personally for me i find that psych social is typically easier to understand and study for okay hi everyone i think it went better than all the other sections which it was a great time the time crunch was that extra little bit of spice on top i do hope that this is the last time i ever write an mcat again so um i'm happy that you guys are gonna see our our attempt and i'm kind of curious what this is gonna mean for our foundations classes in medical school whether i'm gonna do well or whether i'm gonna need some help so stay tuned Knew, but there's definitely stuff that we were like, mm, yeah, whatever, go on, go on. Like, we were the most, or so tempered 
during that time. No, but we're the most refreshed. Like that was our first session. Like, that's we true. We were pretty. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, we were pretty keen during that. Okay. 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 Cars. Cars. Okay. okay. One twenty-three. Okay, I put one twenty. <laughs> yes, that's no. not. That's not feeling on your part. It's just from mine. Okay, you know what? I'll explain later. It's her turn. She has no faith in me. You know, it's like I, I, I put at the one twenty-three. So I'm with yeah, Tommy. Okay. I think the last two passages were tough, but otherwise I have confidence. See, the reason why I put a one twenty was because, like, I just always anticipate a very low score for cars. <laughs> okay, B and B. One twenty-seven. Okay, I said 126. I'm pretty good. Okay, this I went with 126 because there was actually more than I thought I didn't know. Yeah, yeah no, true. Actually, no, I think I want to do 126 because like there were a lot of like results that we were just not determined. Yeah, well, there was like there were also like we weren't completely reading the full like experiment either. Yeah. yeah. We were also very hungry. Yeah, we were. Yes, hungry. we were hungry and we were very short tempered. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, let's For a psych soch, I put 120. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I put 127. I put 127 too because I thought we knew it, but like yeah, there was not one that we did not know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a few guesses though. So, so what's your final score overall? Like, I have a five. You're putting okay, five of five. five. I'm thinking of 496. Whoa. That sounds really low. <laughs> Yes, if you got the score, comment your favorite MCAT section. Like <laughs> and subscribe.